ang puso ko at buhay man sa iyo'y ibibigay kung kulin kong gagambanan na lagi kang bagling kuman ang laya mo'y papantayan Pilipinas kong hirap Ang bayan po'y tanging ikaw Pilipinas kong mahal Ang puso ko at buhay man Sa iyo'y ibibigay Kung kulin kong gagambanan Na lagi kang paglingkuran Ang laya may papantayan Pilipinas kong hiram Ang laya may papantayan Pilipinas kong A blessed afternoon to all of you. We are now in our second session of Teachers' Orientation on the New Normal Education about the walkthrough of the most essential learning competencies. Once again, I am Christy Liwanag of Angeles City National Trade School, your moderator for today. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to our second session. I may now call our speaker for today, the Education Program Supervisor of TLE and TVL, Dr. Josephine G. Figueroa. Thank you, Ma'am Candy. Good afternoon. Kumusta na po kayong lahat? I just hope that you had your Santa's lunch and snacks. And now we are on the second session, which is the walkthrough of the EPP TLE Most Essential Learning Competencies. Let me hear, uh, let me read our vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. Our mission, to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff as steward of the institution 
ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Our core values, makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. The objectives of today's orientation are the following, to discuss the process in identifying the most essential learning competencies or MILFs, and explain how to use the MILFs in teaching education pantahanan at pangkabuhayan or EPP, technology and livelihood education or TLE, and TVL technical vocational livelihood education effectively. So let me give you the brief, brief background of the learning area in TLE. The education, the, our vision, the education pantahanan at pangkabuhayan, the technology and livelihood education, or technical and vocational livelihood education, envisions 21st century skilled TVL graduates imbued with desirable work attitudes and positive values that will make them globally competitive individuals who contribute to nation building. Our mission in TLE, TBL, APP to provide quality program that develops learners holistically through intensive training in various specialization, applied technology, enhanced curriculum, intensified partnership, delivery of quality instruction, available resources, adequate training facilities, continuous monitoring and evaluation, and relevant sustainable policies. This is our IPP TLE curriculum framework. I've been discussing this framework since the K-12 started. Allow me to reiterate this so we can you can have an enduring understanding on this framework. Everyone knows that APP TLE has four components: ICT, home economics, industrial arts, and agrifacery arts. We use different pedagogical approaches in TLE. First, constructivism, which, is, which allows our learners to construct meaning using their prior knowledge and experiences. Second, contextualization, contextualizing our lesson based on the type of learners we have, availability of resources and the need of community. The third is integrative. Our, our subject is integrative uh, subject, where, e, where we integrate several subjects like cooking, you can integrate chemistry. In measuring, you can integrate math, politeness, patience, honesty, and other good manners. And right conduct, you can integrate values. Asking your learners to sing, dance, and eat nutritious foods, you are integrating buffet. There are so many topics that you can integrate in APP, TLE, TVL. Likewise, TLE is best learned through experiential learning. We have an adage that experience is the best teacher. TLE is a skill subject. No matter how good you are in teaching, if you do not allow your learners to experience, then they are not going to learn. No matter how good you are, you have to allow your learners to experience or apply what you have taught. Then, if you will not allow them to experience, you are not helping to develop an enduring knowledge and skills. Thus, everything you teach, let the learners apply. Apply it to their real life. 
and they could be ready to face the real world and the world of work. Like other learning areas, tell e is an authentic learning. As teachers, we believe that every individual is unique and the diversity of learners. With this, we apply the differentiated instruction to make our learners more to make our learners become more responsive. To and when we do this, we make our teaching and learning process more interesting, relevant, and responsive to the needs of our learners. And lastly, TEL E is an entrepreneurial subject. All components in TEL E begins with X, or we call it personal entrepreneurial competencies. What do you think is the reason why each topic we begin with X in TLE and EPP? Because it is a must for all our students to do an environmental scanning in their environment or in their community, allowing them to look for the possible business opportunity. We need to develop our learners to become entrepreneurs not just for them to become self-employed. And in TLEPP, in order for them to, beca to become an entrepreneur or become successful in life and be globally competitive, we teach knowledge and information, entrepreneurial concepts, process and the delivery and work values. With this, we could achieve in the battle cry of the K-12. But before that, don't forget to do the assessment and feedback because it is very important to provide assessment and feedbacking. With this, we can achieve the battle cry of the K-12, ang batang K-12, handa sa trabaho, handa sa negosyo, at handa sa kulihin. We can see on the table We can see on the table we have a uh, third. We have here five columns. So the first column is uh, indicates the grade level. Second column is nomenclature. Third column is grade level standards. Fourth column is contact number of ours, and the fifth column is short description. Now. For the grade four, Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, the grade level standards indicates that the learner demonstrate basic education, basic knowledge, skills, and values in agriculture, entrepreneurship, ICD, home economics, industrial arts, and that can help improve self and family. And the time, uh, the contact time is 15 minutes. In grade five, Edukasyon Pangtahanan at Pangkabuhayan, the grade level standards demonstrate increased knowledge, skills, and values, entrepreneurship, and ICT, agriculture, home economics, and industrial arts toward improving family life and community. If you notice on grade four, it is self-improvement and family. But in grade five, it is improving family life and community. Now, what is the short description of this? Edukasyon pangtahanan at pangkabuhayan consists of four components, such as agriculture and fishery arts, or AFA, Home Economics, or HE, Information Communication Technology, or ICD, and Industrial Arts, or IE. Teaching of the four components is not necessarily as they appear in the curriculum guide. 
The schools are given the leeway to decide which of the four components should be tackled on the first quarter for the second quarter and so on and so forth. Now, I would like to give the emphasis on this matter. Schools are given leeway to decide which of the four components should be tackled for the first quarter, second quarter, and so on and so forth. The mere fact that, this, that uh, we, have, we have zero quarter in the curriculum guide, it means that you can offer any component at any quarter. The climate may dictate what particular component to be taught in a particular grading period. For instance, if the climate is suitable for agriculture in the first grading period, the teacher may teach aqua component. Other factors may also be considered such as availability of resources, scheduled of classes, and the like. At this moment that we are facing new normal, I suggest that all schools shall offer AFA on the first quarter, considering the season, the availability of resources, the current situation, and advocate the project in the regional office, which is gardening project towards landscaping edible plants, or GPTLE, which will make our teachers learners, parents, and community to become more active in food production in the midst of pandemic brought to us by COVID-19. Moreover, resources are very much available at home and in their community. If our learners do not have enough space for planting, then vertical gardening will be applied. For grade four and grade five, the medium of instruction is Filipino. This focuses on the acquisition of basic knowledge and skills in entrepreneurship, ICD, Alpha, HE, and IA. For grade six, the nomenclature TLE, for these standards, the learner demonstrate knowledge and enhance expanded knowledge, entrepreneurship, ICD, agriculture, home economics, industrial arts, toward improvement of family life, economic life, and community. Now, the short description of this, this is preparation is the transition stage before the learner ascend to the next grade level. That's why the medium of instruction here is English. In grade seven, the grade level standard, the learner demonstrate understanding of basic concepts underlying principles in developing fundamental skills in exploratory technology Vocational Education or APP TLA TBL. The short description for this the TLA for grade 7 are exploratory in nature. There are 24 mini courses which can be categorized in any four components. For grade 8, the grade level standards demonstrate an understanding in his or her personal entrepreneurial competencies. The environment and market, the process production and delivery of technology and vocational education course in which he has or she has is specialized. Now for the short description in grade eight, many courses covers five common competencies that high school students Ode to process, which are as follows. Use of tools and equipment. Maintenance of tools and equi equipment. Observing safety in the workplace. Measuration and calculation. And interpreting 
technical drawings and plans. Level standards demonstrate an understanding of personal entrepreneurial competencies, the environment and market, the process or production, and delivery of technology and vocational education course in which he, he or she has a specialized. The short description for this, the learners are expected to gain a specialized knowledge and skills in at least one TLE that would enable them to obtain NC2. The contact of ours for, the, for grade 9 and 10 is for ours weekly. For grade 11, the learner demonstrate an understanding the principles of preparing a creative and innovative business plan as it relates with marketing, operations, and human resource and simple accounting and financial plans to determine the visibility and viability of the business of his or her technology and vocational specialization. So the total contact time or number of hours is 640 hours and 80 hours for work immersion. The short description for this, the technical, vocational, and livelihood is a track that consists of different specialization offered in senior high school, wherein it is expected that learners shall undergo 640 hours education and training plus 80 hours of work immersion. In this grade level, the learners are expected to acquire technical skills, which should enable them to obtain NC2. This is also the same through with the grade 12. So for the grade 12, the uh, level standards, the learner demonstrate understanding of the principles applying in business plan and her choice based on her or his specialization in TBL. So now, I'm giving you the brief background of learning area in APP, TLE, TBL. My dear participants, prior to our webinar, I have posted this question to our uh, GZ. What would you like to know from our upcoming teachers' orientation in the new normal education? Mom, Candy, I'm turning back to you. Yes, I'm back, Ma'am Josephine. Thank you for the insights that have you have given to us about the walkthrough of the most essential learning competencies. At this time, we will proceed to our learning activity. All participants are invited to join in our Mentimeter. So please go to www.menti.com and use our code which is flash in our screen, and we will give you five minutes to answer the two questions given under the menti.com. Then right after that, we will read all your answers. The timer starts now.
So for our first question, how do you describe milks? So this is our first question. Okay, so as of this time, we have 20 respondents. So most of our answers are the word important. So you said that milks are important. And another, of course, since that it is intensive, there are some of you answered also the uh, essential, necessary, priority, but the top answer here is important. So as of now, we have 29 respondents. Okay, now let us uh, see on the second uh, question. Did you answer it already? So for the 34 respondents, 37, still the top is on important. So we, uh, we describe milk as important, necessary, essential, helpful, guide, learning, useful, more competencies. Okay, so next. Okay, so we have the second question. What do you expect from, uh, we still have a second uh, slide. What do you expect from EPP till E milks? No answer yet? We still have second slide. Okay, so we have the number one simplified. Technical knowledge, skills, and values. We have three answers for complete. They are reliable. Okay, so only important life skills and shall be learned in this pandemic. Okay, so selected, very good, selected and important to be learned by the learners, right? It seems this answer is familiar. It is the nature of skill subject, hence the teacher must engage pupils and experiential contextualized and authentic learning teaching and learning process it's subject which is pupils le learn by uh, doing okay new innovation child and teacher friendly must be suited to level of the learners and must be short and versatile specific especially in lm level okay so our participants are increasing so we have 44 Last two minutes or one minute? I'm expecting more realistic and application of the content of milk. Wow. Realistic, yes. Because as we have discussed a while ago, how the milk was corrupted, it to be more realistic, reliable, helpful, selected learning competencies, tackle the most important part. Okay, so... A, to be able to help us making the weekly home learning task and individual monitoring plan. Wow, natatandaan ni ma'am. Finally, alam ko na nakinig siya kanina. Simplified, vital, helpful, 
for the learners be more productive okay so uh thank you so much for your participation i got them 59 participants in this afternoon siguro yung iba hindi sila nakakonect that's why they got you they were not able to participate in this mentimeter now uh this is just an example when you are going to uh apply the synchronous online uh, teaching okay so in order for your uh, this is one activity that you can provide when you are teaching online once our students have their uh, connectivity okay so let us go back on our discussion Okay, now we are on the most essential learning competencies for EPP TLE walkthrough. For the rationale, UNESCO believes that educational quality access and systems in strengthening cannot be compromised in times of crisis. It reiterates its stand in spite of the circumstances. Education cannot wait. If learning stops, we will lose the human capital. Continue. In parallel to this belief, DepEd affirms its commitment in sustaining the delivery of the quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating Philippine basic education services anchored on the Sulong Educalidad plans. It will continue to strive to produce holistic Filipino learners with 21st century skills. Consequently, the Bureau of Curriculum Development ensures that learning standards are relevant and flexible to address the complex, disruptive, volatile, ambiguous impact of COVID-19 in the Philippines, particularly in the basic education sectors. So this is the process, as I have discussed a while ago, when we, how the uh, MELS was work crafted. So MELS are identified in four components of APP and TLE. First, again, we have the information and communication technology, agriculture and fishery arts, home economics, and industrial arts. The following premises to be considered in utilization of MELS of teaching APP and TLE. Now, I will be discussing to you how you are going to make use of MELS in teaching APP, TLE, TVL. For grade 4 to 6 of Education Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan or APP, TLE, there is a zero quarter or a quarter zero. Again, this is consistent encoding of APP TLE curriculum guide 
as it gives leeway to school of which among components needed emphasis per quarter. Okay, so sample of code APP grade four, agricultural arts, zero quarter, eight week, and 15 comp for 15 competencies. Because as we have discussed, well, uh, in this more in the morning session, that we could not get away from the K to twelve curriculum. We still have the same code that are used in MILKS. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is embedded in the four components of EPP TLE. For a grade four entrepreneurship ICD. Under ICD, na ipapaliwanag ang kahulugan at kahalagahan ng entrepreneurship. Natatalakay ang mga katangian ng isang entrepreneur. Natatalakay ang iba't ibang uri ng negosyo. In agriculture, na isasagawa ang kasanayan at kaalaman sa pagtatanim halamang ornamental bilang isang pagkakakitaan gawain. So it, it speaks about entrepreneurs because we are trying to develop our learners to become entrepreneurs. In grade five, entrepreneurship or ICD, na ipapaliwanag ang kahulugan at pagkakaiba ng produkto at serbisyo. Natutukoy ang mga taong nangangailangan na angkop na produkto at serbisyo. Nakapagbibenta ng natatanging panindang na isa sa pamilihan ang inalagaang hayop at isda. Natutuos ang puhunan, gastos at kita. This is for the grade 5 ICD Entrepreneurship. For grade 6 ICD Entrepreneurship, in our milks, produces simple products, buys and sells products based on the needs. Sells products based on the needs and demands in the school community. For the agriculture entrepreneurship, uses technology in the conduct of survey to find out the market demands for fruits. Next is conduct survey to find out the market demands for animal or fish products and buy products direct consumers or retailers. Story successful entrepreneurs in animal or fish raising. Manages marketing of animal or fish raising. Prepares marketing strategy by asking from other or using the internet. Market animal or fish harvested or captured. Computes income earned from market products, gross sales, expenses, net income. Then, last one, prepares plans for expansion of animal raising venture. So this is how we are going to embed an entrepreneurship in ICD and agricultural arts under grade six. For home economics, sales creative and marketable household linens as means to augment family income. Market finished household linens in varied creative ways. Conduct simple research to determine the market trends and in demands in preserved or processed foods. So uh, let me come back here in so creative and marketable household linens. Now, because we are answering the demands and we know our situation, our teachers will be uh, taught it or will be trained in face mask making which will help a lot to our students i guess with this they can apply up teaching to our students in how to make face masks and they can make it into business 
Industrial arts demonstrates creativity and innovatives in enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Next one, conduct simple survey using a technology and other data gathering methods to determine the market trends on products and made bamboo, wood, metal. Customer preference of products. Types, sources of innovative fishing mark materials, accessories, and designs. Discuss the effects of innovative fishing materials, creative accessories, and marketable or products. Demonstrate resources and management skills in the use of time, material, money, and effort. Assess the quality of enhanced product using rubrics. Refine product based on assessment made. And finally, is to market our products. So, in this industrial arts, we could not say that let's uh, in their environment, if the bamboo may not be available or metal, then they can use other materials, whatever available in their resources, in their environment. Now for grade seven or eight, we can discuss the principles and strategies in identifying the business opportunities. Explore the business opportunities. Analyze the market demands and determine the, determine the possible products and services that will meet the need and select the best product or service that will meet the market needs. No, we have a note here. Simulation of a simple home-based micro-business aligned to the many courses taken may be employed as an alternative. So because we are in pandemic, so what we're going to do is to have it business or make it at a home-based micro-business. For the grade seven and eight, the component agriculture and fishery arts, specifically aquaculture and aquaculture. The content standard demonstrate understanding concepts and underlying theories, principles in the use of tools, equipment, and aqua in aquaculture. For performance standards, the learner independently uses tools and equipment in aquaculture according to standard procedure. For the most essential learning competencies, select and use the farm tools and equipment like identify the fishery tools, equipment, and according to use. Conduct pre-operation checkup in line with the manufacturer's manual. Use the appropriate tools and equipment for the job. Requirement according to manufacturer's specification and instruction. So this topic is, the duration of this topic is good for one week. And it indicates TLE Alpha, fishery uh, and fish captures for grade nine, grade nine to 12. So we have here, I see the N4 competencies, okay? So, agri-fishery arts may not be uh, appropriate to our uh, city because we do not have an available resources. But if you are going to teach in different, since our students are just at home, then they could make use any other container in order for us, for them to apply the, the competencies that is in the aqua culture and fish capture now for uh the last two to three weeks are allotted for entrepreneurship we have the most essential uh learning competencies discuss the principles and strategies in identifying the business opportunities which was uh discussed before 
and explore the business opportunities. This is for week seven. Duration is uh, one week. And for the next most essential learning competencies, good for two weeks, week eight and nine. Analyze the market needs. Determine the possible product and services that will meet the need. Select the best product or the services that will meet the market need. The maps are the maps that have broad, strong competencies which have to be unpacked by the teachers. Buy and sell products based on the need. This is in uh, TLE in Industrial Arts, Grade 6, Zero Quarter, Second Week, Third Competencies. Okay, so define the unpack mills that the teacher should unpack, define the needs and wants, identify the needs of the community, develop a product. Now, for the sales product based on the needs of demands in school and community, the teacher will unpack, prepares the costing of the product, compute the markup, decide the selling price. For the home economics, zero quarter, week one, second competency, enumerate sources of family income. The unpack mills says that the uh, teachers should unpack in like in sell products based on community needs and demands, explain the family income, discuss the importance of income, enumerate the fam the sources of the family income. In lesson A. I am just showing to you the samples of the milks in EPPTLE. So we are now on lesson eight for caring and maintenance of crop. In the content, we have monitoring of pest incidents, type of pest. We have here diseases, insects, weeds, rodents, stray animal, mollusks, and then preparation of the tools and materials for pest control measures. Safety and procedures in handling pesticides. Now, for the learning competencies, the milk indicates here perform the monitor perform monitoring of pest incidents based on the prescribed procedure. So the codes here is the TLE Alpha, carrying and maintenance, week two. And then, uh, uh, mean five, fifth week for twenty five for the twenty fifth learning competencies. So this is how our uh, curriculum guide turned to uh, melt more essential learning competencies. In the morning session, I have presented a weekly home learning task, which shows how the teacher will manage the weekly task in delivering the weekly lesson. However, this calendar provides an idea of the teacher on how he or she manages of the learning competencies indicated on MELPS. It consists of unit competency, which tells the particular lesson to be taught, the content standard and the performance standard, learning outcome, learning competency, and lastly is the code. A number of hours tells how many of hours to teach the unpack learning competencies. In addition, the calendar of learning objectives are the month, weekly hours, per day, and learning objectives. Some learning competencies that are redundant in recurring were dropped to satisfy the eight to nine weeks 
allotment per quarter. Example, in the curriculum guide, we have collect farm waste. Uh, learning outcome one, collect farm waste. The learning outcome prepares tools and materials for the collection of farm waste. Collect waste following the OSH and waste collection of required requirements and plans. Collect dangerous and hazardous waste following the hazmat protocol, where the appropriate PPE is prescribed by the OSH. So this what this competencies, which is in the red color, this is a uh, trap. Okay. Then collect the farm waste. So what was what remained in the um, curriculum guide, which is now our most essential learning competencies, are the following. Prepare the tools and materials for the collect farm waste. Collect the uh, dangerous hazardous waste from the hazmat protocol. And then we refer to the mess in crop productions for grade 7 and 8. For grade 7 or 8 exploratory, there is an option to choose for many courses in ICT, Alpha, HEIA, or one component may be chosen for duration of the whole year. Each many courses or each many course is good for 8 to 9 weeks per quarter. In the ICD, we have computer system servicing, illustration, and technical drafting. In Alpha, we have crop production, animal production, fishery operations, food processing. In HE, for grade 7 or 8, we have caregiving, Dress making, cookery, nail care, handicraft, and front office services. In IA, we have masonry, carpentry, small, planning, domestic uh, rack, IEM, EPAS, automotive servicing. In addition to exploratory TLA grade 7 and 8, notes for this grade level are similar to that grade 4 to 6 in a way that these grade levels contain quarter 0. Furthermore, modifications below made to show a clearer articulation of standard. In our discussion this morning, we merge the competent we merge the competencies if they have the same objectives or learning intention thus can be combined into one comprehensive competency in our curriculum guide many courses in alpha like agri crop agri crop production 1 and 2 and horticulture are combined in one curriculum guide. So, crop production in grade 7 or 8 is now in milk. Again, for the IA, the mini courses, carpentry, masonry, plumbing, welding, EIM, technical drafting, are the most essential learning competencies were merged to construction. So refer to most air carpentry, masonry, plumbing, masonry plumbing, welding, electrical installation maintenance, and technical drafting. Different curriculum guide, but you can choose four or more and offer in grade seven and eight. The merge cluster, the learning competencies to simplify the teaching days without omitting the value of the skill or concept. So this is in the curriculum guide, 
Select and be use of farm tools. So identify the farm tools according to use. Check the farm tools for faults. Use appropriate tools for the job requirement according to the manufacturer's specification, specifications and instruction. For the LO2, select farm equipment. 2.1, identify the far, appropriate farm equipment. Follow the guidelines and instructional manual of farm equipment. Conduct the preparation checkup in line with the manufacturer's manual. Identify faults in farm equipment and facilities and the use of farm equipment according to their function. Now, what is in the most essential learning competencies we have the lo1 which were the more uh, most lear these are the learning competencies that was merged from the curriculum guide so we have here identify the farm tools and equipment according to use conduct the pre-operation check up in line with the manufacturer's manual Use of appropriate tools and equipment for the job is requirement according to manufacturer's specification and instruction. So you will see the difference from the curriculum guide and how they crafted in the curriculum guide to the most essential learning competencies. So we refer to grade 7 and 8 crop productions in milk, TLA 9 to 12, under uh, the the code is UT zero part uh, zero quarter week one one uh, first competencies. So in rephrasing, and now I'm showing to you and remember how we have cropped the uh, how we have cropped the uh, most essential learning competencies. So rephrasing the standard make it clearer for the teachers to understand the context. Now, in the curriculum guide, in the curriculum guide, we have the content standard and demonstrate the an understanding, estimation, and basic education. For the performance standard, the learners accurately perform estimation and basic calculation. Now what is in the milk now that we are going to use in this uh, curriculum year? We have the learner demonstrate an underestimation and basic calculation needed in the workplace. Needed in the workplace. So we refer to crop production grade 7 or 8. Now, in performance standard, the learner dem accurately performs the estimation and calculation needed in the workplace, okay? So we still refer to the mass of crop productions, grade seven and grade eight. Now, for the trap, how our curriculum was trapped. Remember when we trap, it's no longer necessary. Okay, for the curriculum guide, let uh, the uh, collect farm waste, what was trapped was where the appropriate PP as prescribed by OSH. Now, in the most essential learning competencies, so we have this, we only have from 1.1 to 1.4. Now, in the most essential learning competencies, we have only 1.1 to 1.3. So therefore, 1.4 was dropped, okay? Now, in LO1, preparing the necessary tools and equipment for the specific nail care activity, the classify tool and equipment in the use of nail care, which, is in, which we have it in our curriculum guide, it's already dropped. Now, what is in the most essential learning competencies? We have from 1.1 to 1.3. So there's no more the classification of tools and equipment. Now what we have now in the mill is to let our learners identify the uses of tools and equipment in the nail care according to the task requirements. 
use the tools and equipment according to the task requirement, and observe the safety procedures of using the tools and equipment, and still we refer to milk of grade 7 and 8 in nail care. Now, adding the learning competences to fully attain to the learning outcome. So for the curriculum guide, we have perform the preventive maintenance of the tools and equipment. Clean tools and equipment for the use in the line of farm tools. Perform the routine, routine uh, checkup and maintenance. Perform the preventive maintenance and the following procedures in sharpening and oiling of the farm tools and equipment. Now, what is in the most essential learning competencies? From this, uh, we have in our previous curriculum guide, we have performed preventive maintenance of tools and equipment. So we have 2.1 is that we have to clean our tools. So uh, what was added here? Store the tools and equipment in the designated places in line with the farm procedure. So we, uh, there was an added competency. So adding learning competency to fully attain the learning outcome so there was job competencies and then there is also an added competencies in our milk to fully attain the learning outcome and then we still refer to the milks of grade seven and eight in the crop production now following are the premises to consider in utiliz utilizing the milks in teaching epp and tle for most of the TLE, TVL specialization, the curriculum guides remain as is, and this was emphasized in the morning session. Most were not identified because the competencies are based on the training regulations of TESDA. That's why the list competencies that were dropped, that were merged, that were uh, that, that were dropped was the T, uh, only in the TLE and the highest uh, percentage that was in the milk that was reduced that was uh, dropped that was merged is in English okay because we are still anchored in the training regulations of this the which are not amended or modified for the present situation but it will be delivered through flexible learning modes as stated in curricular number 62 series 2020 however regardless of the learning modalities normal hours remain the same except of the following suggested specialization handicraft and other tvl specialization are non-nc or that may not affect assessment of the learners are suggested to be offered this year. The performance and skills of this specialization can be delivered both in school or at home. Local materials are available in the community. Beauty care or nail care like foot spa, hand spa, hairdressing, barbering, and other T TLE or TPL specialization similar to this are also recommended to be offered this year. This have, non uh, this have national certification assessment, but the performance skills can be done both in school or at home. Some cold milks for this specialization are suggested to be used. For TLE, TBL specializations, consider the available resources in school, at home, and in the community in choosing what course or courses to offer since health is the utmost concern. In instances, the learners cannot physically attend the class. The learner should still be able to perform the task as stated in the curriculum guide. On the other hand, 
In cases when competences are not visible or attainable due to the various circumstances, the teacher may give an alternative activity to provide it is uh, provided it is aligned with the sustained learning competency. So this is an example of uh, Mel's case stage two. So we have again the con uh, uh, I'm not going to read it all. So we have again the content standard, performance standard, and the list of the most essential learning competencies, and the duration, how many weeks it will be taught, and the codes that were derived from the curriculum guide. Now, general guidelines, the new TVET program shall be registered and issued with certificates of TVET program registration. Regardless of uh, teaching and learning modes in accordance with the applicable program registration. The normal duration on the Tibet program shall be in accordance with the relevance of TR, regardless of the teaching and learning modes. And before I end my slide, I would like to leave you this message from our secretary deep ed uh, from our deep ed secretary leonor magdolis briones the challenge of covid 19. education cannot wait the children cannot wait we need to find ways for learning to continue maraming salamat po shukran in Madrasa in Muslim, the Kalasalamat, of course, the uh, Kapampangan, Muchas Gracias in Zamboanga, the Khan Salamat sa Sibuano, Damo nga Salamat sa Walay. Okay, so thank you so much. Ma'am Candy? Yes, thank you so much, Ma'am Josephine, for sharing the some insights about the walkthrough of most essential learning competencies. We are now in our question and answer portion. And our speaker will answer all the questions coming from our participants. So, Ma'am Josephine, are you ready? Yes, Ma'am. Yes, Ma'am. So we have our first question here coming from our one of our participants. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Candy. From, from Vicente Babasho. Ayan. Ma'am, is there a sample TLE milks for carpentry? And there is a follow-up question. The continuation of that question, ma'am, is there a sample TLE milks for carpentry for grade 7 to grade 10? For grade 7 for uh, grade 10. As I have shown a while ago, sir, we had, uh, there, there was a sample of milks that was uh, provided by the central office. So those were the, subject, we, uh, the carpentry were not mentioned. Especially, uh, we could not do it for the grade 7 and 8. So, thank you so much for that answer. I hope our participant will be satisfied with your answer, ma'am. And so, let's check for our comment back if we still have question. We have another question here. from okay one of the facebook user ma'am josephine paano, yes, po okay. actual, paano po kung actual performance are they going to video or record their song thank you po okay actually this was this question also was raised with uh when uh director and i uh, speak when director, writer, uh, when director Andaya 
was a uh, guest speaker at CDO. So, how about the performance? Sabi niya, will it be going to uh, video or uh, recorded? Yes, if it is for, uh, there are so many ways how we can conduct the performance. Now, in order for our uh, for us to know that the learners perform for this kind of activity, they can take pictures, they can also have video, and then they can send the pictures or video to their teacher. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Josephine, for that answer. So, for our third question, coming from our participant. Yes, Ma'am Candy. Yes, Ma'am Candy. Okay, para nakita ko yata siya, Ma'am Candy. Uh, ganito siya. Good afternoon, po. How are we going to implement the work immersion? For this school year for this school year okay so to answer this actually we will have a uh, another training on the work immersion for the work immersion so probably uh, we will do it uh, this coming uh, July because there will be a separate training on how we are going to conduct the work immersion okay so that question is coming from Mom Princess Joy de Villa. So thank and, you for that. Uh, for a while, Ma'am Kendi, in addition to what I have answered, uh, the Office of Undersecretary in Curriculum and Instruction has released the uh, DEPED Memorandum number 0085, Series 2020, about the guidelines of work immersion this time of crisis. And this will be conducted, uh, we are going to disseminate this by um, hopefully this coming July. Thank you, Ma'am Kendi. Okay, thank you for that information, Ma'am Josephine. And for our next question coming from one of the Facebook user, Ma'am, TLE Housekeeping Services Milks for Grade 9 and 10. Available na po ba, Ma'am? Yes, Ma'am. Uh, meron po tayo. If, if it is not included in the milk if it, uh, for Grade 9 and 10, only a very few, only very few of our learning competencies were dropped or were, uh, were dropped or clustered because, as I have discussed before, that they could not still uh, they could not remove of the learning competent uh, some of the learning competence because we are still anchored by uh, the training regulations in TESDA. So, kung ano man po yung gamit natin na curriculum guide for the household keeping, yun din po yung gagamitin natin and still we have to follow the time in uh, teaching the household keeping ma'am, for sure. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Josephine, for that, for that answer. And we still have another question coming from our participant. Yes, Ma'am Candy. So, we just wait because it will flash in our screen. Okay, one of the Facebook user. Paano po kung medyo risky yung actual performance po like EIM? Uh, okay po. Actually, uh, if if we have other if we have other specialized course that to be offered in our school, then we have to offer because uh, EIM we have to discourage offering EIM because to avoid danger at home. So kung meron po tayo mga ibang may offer na available, kasi uh, we have to put in our uh, offering the courses, especially stations, especially. Uh, where students are just at home, we have to consider the available resources at home. At saka, baka mamaya, hindi, yung mag-guide sa kanya, hindi rin na uh, kulang din sa understanding. Pag may nangyari sa bata, pananagutan pa natin mga teacher dahil may pinagawa po tayong activity na hindi naman ganun na supervise ng parent. So, uh, kung sa palagay natin magiging uh, that will put the life of our learners in danger hindi po natin ipagagawa po yung ganun na activity at saka we have to consider also na yung kagamitan na meron sa kanilang bahay okay ma'am Josephine so we still have two last questions 
to be yes, answered sir. by our speaker. From Irisha Jem Quillar. For actual performance po, what to do if the student doesn't have the tools and equipments needed? Okay, uh, I'll just repeat for the actual for what to do if the student doesn't have the tools and equipment needed. Uh, di po ba, uh, as teacher, dapat po alamin po natin kung ano po yung meron silang available resources at home. Now, if the learners, if you think that the learners do not have an available resources at home, then we can find another ways na ma na another way of an activity wherein na ma-active pa rin po natin yung curriculum guide. Yung cur uh, what I mean, the learning competency. Okay, thank you, Ma, for that answer. Okay, and for you. our last question. Yes, thank you. Oh, coming from GK SNTS MNSS. What if wala silang magagamit na pang video? Kung walang, kung walang hindi po namin ma-assure kung gawa talaga ng bata ang output. Okay. So, dito po papasok yung trust natin sa mga learners po natin. Di po ba, uh, we have to consider po doon kung ano mga available uh, resources ng ating mga bata. Kung meron po ba silang cellphone, meron po ba silang internet. Kung wala po silang kakayahan ng ganun, maybe we, another way for a teacher to become resources, how we can find to become a resource uh, to become, to become a resourceful, kung paano po natin sila, makikita na talaga po sila gumagawa. Di po ba kung halimbawa naka mod, gumagamit lang po sila ng module, pagkata, kaya nga po sila gumamit ng module dahil wala po silang ibang available na resources. So, kung Kung po doon, ay pwede naman po siguro doon sa kanilang gumawa po sila ng journal or uh, sa portfolio, doon, doon po nila makikita sa kanilang mga reflection. Yes, I'm strongly agree with you, Ma'am Josephine. Opo, say, uh, hindi po natin mapipilit yung mga bata na mga walang available gadgets. Opo. So, ang teacher dapat maging maparaan at maging consider, uh, considerable din po siya sa mga, considerate po siya sa mga learners po natin because we are having an uh, experience in this uh, pandemic. Yes, ma'am. And we can ask also the guidance of the parents of our yes. learners. Opo. So, this will be the end of our question and answer portion. So, we will have our announcement before we end. So, in June 24, Wednesday, and that is tomorrow, we have our third session for teachers' orientation on the new normal. Start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon up to 5 p.m. On June 25, Thursday, we will have the face mask making and the face shield making at 9 o'clock in the morning until 11 a.m. On June 26, Friday, we have the Nutriban and Backyard Cooking at 1 o'clock in the afternoon until 3 p.m. And lastly, an evaluation link for this day will be sent through your registered email address. And take note, our evaluation is until midnight only. And this will be served as your attendance for you to able to get your e-certificate. So there you have it, my fellow teachers. Our webinar on the new normal in education walkthrough of the most essential learning competencies. May the insights provided in this webinar give us an extra boost and renewed passion as we brave the new normal. We would like to thank our speaker, Dr. Josephine Figueroa, the technical team, and the division of Angeles City, particularly the curriculum and implementation division in making this webinar possible. Once again, I'm Christy Niwanag of Angeles City National Trade School, your moderator for this day. See you tomorrow for our third session at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you and God bless. Muli, magandang buhay.